Hey guys, so scratch that. And I'm not talking about my back either. Um, although I do love having my back scratched. But at any rate, um, if you are keeping up on my vlogs, the last vlogs I've been posting about were um, that I've been dating people um, and then I went on a date with Adam and we've continued to be like to see each other and how great things were I haven't seen him in two weeks he's a nice guy just wasn't feeling it like yeah he was attractive very attractive but it definitely there's more to uh, a person than their looks. Um, it was always like the same routine with him. It was always like him coming over, watching movies. Like, don't get me wrong, I love to relax and all that stuff, but doing the same thing all the time it just kind of gets old. And just his personality. He questions everything. I overanalyze, I question everything. But let me give you an example. We're walking along. We both stumble upon this. This. The, this is Adam. So, what is that? I, I don't know. I'm coming across it for the very first time myself. I want to say it's a brush, but I don't know. Let's pretend it's an object that is a little more mysterious than this. It's just an example. I don't know, Adam. Uh, I, I have no idea. So, why do you think it's there? Um, I wish I could answer that for you. I don't know. It, it was that constantly, like, I think he was one of those types of people that felt uncomfortable with silence. Um, you know, I think one of the most profound moments can be when there are silent, when there is silence, like, I think silence just makes people feel uncomfortable and they feel that they need to fill the silence with unnecessary words and I'm the type of person that I can just enjoy being in someone's company and I don't need to um, talk the entire time like there are times when I'm just enjoying the moment and for what it is and my best thoughts come when I'm in my head and those thoughts can't happen when I'm with Adam because every time there's a silent moment he's questioning something and I am not I'm not a genius I I don't know why everything is the way it is so that got under my skin and if I'm dating you and it has been the third date and I'm already annoyed with your habits and that I can't accept them from the start that's not a good sign uh, I'm the type of person again that when I'm with somebody, somebody and I, I care about them I take the good with the bad because basically let's face it we're human we make mistakes we have flaws you have to take the good with the bad. But if I'm already annoyed with a major part of your personality from the start, I, it's not going to work. Um, another thing about Adam was he was super clingy. Um, he, would, he would just come to the store, just see me, like where I work. Um, like we went on a date and then like two days later he's like oh my god I miss you I miss you like I want to see you so he came to my job and we hung out for a little bit outside of work 
like, for, gr like granted it wasn't long, like super long. It was like a half an hour, 45 minutes, like we hung out. And then I met like two days later, he's like, I really want to see you. Like, and it's like, I had things going on and it's like, I can't, I'm sorry. And he, plus I was a bit turned off with everything, just the way he is. And he was, he had said, um, I don't think that asking to see you when it has only been a week is asking too much. He said that in a text message to me. I was like, hey dude, you literally just saw me, not yesterday, but the day before. So I don't know how good you are at math, but there are seven days in a week. It has not been a week. I am, don't get me wrong, again, affection and someone wanting to be there by your side is great, but um, I think the reason why I just was so annoyed was the fact that there's things about his personality that I just don't click with. Um, I guess I'm, I can be such an extreme person with my personality that someone that is kind of the same as me really gets under my skin. <laughs> so, and also there was a red flag. Um, we went on several dates, like official dates. The first date was dinner and a movie. Uh, then we actually went out on a date where we went out and saw a movie, just a movie. And then there was a date where like he came over and I cooked him food at my house. I made him dinner and then we watched a movie. Um, and then there, were, there may have been another time too where he came over and we hung out. And, but um, red flag happened. So I have Facebook and he befriended my dad on Facebook. That wasn't an issue for me because, like, I mean, we were dating, seeing each other. And, like, that's cool, you know? He wants to get to know my family. Um,. So, the thing that got to me was, as he's getting to know my father, this is the very first time he's speaking to him, he comments on a photo or a post of my father's, and he refers to him as dad. Okay, it has been like three dates, and you are calling my dad, dad. That freaks me out. Especially when I'm not on the same level as you and I don't feel quite as strongly as you do. That is kind of scary. It is scary to know that probably by the seventh date you will ask me to marry you. I want those things so badly. I do. But not with a person that... I... I, I don't know. I really can't put words to it. It just freaked me out. Um, so I pretty much stopped like talking to him, like texting him like I was uh, laid off of that and he texted me and like he asked me to hang out. Like I did have plans, but he asked me, well what he said was, so later on I'm having a barbecue and we're going to be swimming, like just kind of like a, hey, this is what I'm going to be doing. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then he was like, that was an invite. It was pretty obvious. And I was like, no, an obvious invite would be, hey, I'm having a barbecue and we're going to be swimming. Would you like to come? Right? That's obvious. The fuck if I know. But uh, anyways... <laughs> I'm like really weird in this video. I assure you I'm completely sober. Maybe I'm just in a good mood. Yeah, I'm definitely in a good mood. But those are for later vlogs. So, yes, that was a very real reaction. I jumped because I have a phone call. So, the whole Adam thing is no longer uh, not, not my type, I guess. Cute is my type. No, <laughs> just kidding. But nah, no. 
that not happening. Sorry to disappoint any people out there with high hopes for Adam. But uh, I'm really happy I'm doing this whole dating thing. Um, I will have to save more stories for another vlog because, let's face it, I only have 10 minutes. And I'm creeping, getting all close to the camera. So I will update you later. Bye.